first and foremost, um, I want to offer my condolences and my prayers for Johnny White, uh, who obviously has a medical condition. He is in the hospital, but I'm going to offer some explanations for this, and uh, I'm going to confront someone on some outright lies. Um, for any of you that are watching this outside of my special group uh, or everything, I, Wilbur Witt, have never made any threats on Amy Sharon. I, Wilbur Witt, would never track her down. Don't want to be anywhere near her. Okay? I, Wilbur Witt, have never stolen anything from her, nor have I ever harmed her physically, nor have I ever stalked her. What I do is exactly what I'm doing here right now. When she comes on and she makes videos <clears throat> and she makes allegations, unfounded allegations against me and threats of my incarceration, which is actually a terroristic threat under state law, by the way, I respond in kind and I answer her allegations. Okay? She again today named me uh, stealing all of her valuable stuff. She's also blamed her mother for stealing the same stuff. <clears throat> she has also blamed a lady in Michigan for stealing the same stuff. And she's also just been pitched out of a man's house uh, in the Houston Baytown area. And I don't know if there's any stealing going on, but uh, now she's obviously living in a woodshed or something. Okay? <clears throat> and in my opinion, what I believe is that Johnny does have health conditions. He does have a mental condition and everything. And it isn't any of us that are bringing this on. It is the constant psychopathic ramblings of Amy that has stressed him out. His life is in complete disarray. He doesn't have a place to live. He's lost his job. He doesn't have money in his pocket. He's got some problems back in California, which in my opinion are not very serious, but I mean, I'm not in his shoes. Maybe he don't want to spend one day in jail. Maybe he don't want to go to court. Maybe he's, I had a manager in Nashville that was afraid of the courthouse. When he wanted to get his driver's uh, license plates for his car, he sent me down to get them because he didn't want to go into the, to the, the Department of Motor Vehicles to even get that. He did not like to be around the government. Okay? Some people are like that. But Amy, you did this. You destroyed Stephen Steele, and he got away from you. Now you apparently put this poor man in a hospital. He become confused at Walmart. No, in his own way, he was trying to get away. He was trying to get away. You did this. You are not going to get your kid back. You are not going to appeal a sealed uh, rendering by family court 10 years ago, nine years ago, it's not going to happen. You are not going to uh, get the FBI to follow through with anything you think they're going to follow through because no crime has been committed. None. To date, I have not touched anything that belongs to you except the rug that I put on the curb. And by the way, Sonny came and picked that up and put it in his house. Okay, so that's where the rug went. I haven't got one fork out of your silverware collection in my kitchen to eat steak with. These things have never happened. I do not steal. And I sold music just like your father, alleged father. And I made money. And, and I supported myself in the music industry. And then in real estate. Okay, And now with writing articles and writing books. I have always supported myself. I've always had money to burn. Okay, I don't need anything you've got, and that includes the physical baby. Okay, just saying. So that's what I'm going to say. That's where I'm going to leave it. There's nothing funny about this video because I'm getting sick and tired of your insane ramblings that I'm some kind of a deranged criminal who's stalking you. You know, I am not stalking. I'm coming to Houston within two weeks. <clears throat> but guess what? I'm coming to Houston to do a TV show. And I, a real one, okay? And do a radio show with my friend down there, Ted. You know, Brother Theo and I are going down there. We're going to uh, do a radio show down there, okay? And I'm going to pick up the very woman that you say attacked and assaulted you when you were doing your famous TV series over there at the Vet Center and everything. Uh, I'm going to give her, extend her an invitation and let her accompany me and Ted during the filming of the, uh, of the TV show. And it's with a major network, by the way. Right out of your, your little hometown of Houston, right there. I've been invited several times. I'm probably going to take them up on it. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to take her with me. Let her pal along with her little iPhone and do a live feed and everything. And I show my friends here, this is what a real production looks like. This is what real deals look like. 
Oh, and by the way, my, my little daughter-in-law over here, I, Jackie, that's not a threat. That's her standard sign-off for our videos, cocking that gun and talking about Boheme, okay? But she did find her name in your mouth. And, you know, and Jackie Joe, she ain't nice like me. I'm going to take a guess on how many times you're going to get shot from here. Can't touch this. Can't touch this.